Donegal Town, a leading Irish construction company, have a number of exciting opportunities in the northwest. Now hiring for a variety of roles, including site engineers, quantity surveyors, and site managers, with excellent packages and opportunities to progress available. For more information, see GleeBuilders.com or send CVs to jobs at GleeBuilders.com. If you'd like to advertise on our Facebook live stream, get in contact. Hello and welcome here to the start of stage one. We're just waiting on uh, last year's rally leader, uh, Josh Moffat, to come up to the start line. Um, this loop is just under 15 kilometres. It's called uh, Donegal Bay. Um, it's a bit like the Cavan stages, this, this loop. It's all jumps and bumps and gravel all over it. There must be a bit of delay. They were supposed to be coming at 12. Hopefully now they're with us in a few minutes. Don't forget to meet, come up to Killian and Andy today, or tonight in uh, McSwine's, Sunny McSwine's. Uh, if you show that you've shared, the Facebook Live, there'll be jackets, handing out jackets. We'll be at the air t Friday, tonight, and tomorrow night.
Don't forget to send on your clips of the rally to uh, Killian on WhatsApp. Pick up the comments here and read out a few of them. Make sure to like and comment. Lowlane, Robertine, Chris Walsh from Kilkenny, Stephen Long watching, watching from Perth in Australia. Daniel Brosnan, Boston, USA. Jim Keenan, Saudi Arabia. Derek O'Flynn, Malone Cork. Ray, Ray Beston from Tullamore. Darren Cody from Kilkenny. Eamon John O'Malley from County Galway. Not fair from us. Kevin Longmore and Donegal. Paul Rowley, New York. Paddy Reid, Sydney. First care should be coming at 12.06. Two minutes now. Make sure to drop drop in the comments where you're from, where you tuned in from. Lee McDade from Perth. David Rooney, Brisbane, Australia. Jeremy McHugh in Donegal as well. Kyle Murphy, Wexford. Here is last year's rally leader, Josh Moffat. He took the lead from Josh, or from Callum Devine and Matt Edwards last year. Callum had an off in day two, so would Matt. But after day one, Josh was fourth. I need a comfortable way last year. He is the first care up now. Yes, third second gap. This stage is less than 15 kilometers long. It's over a lot of bumps and jumps and gravel, so very easy to have a moment. If you don't have the right tire, tire choice, but very easy to make a mistake. Josh Moffat should be leaving now in any minute at all.
still sweating. See Callum Devine is in behind him, then Marion Evans, then back around the corner you can't see now but it's Matt Edwards, and it's back to Sam Lafford. Sam is out in the new car. This stage could be quite a bit delayed. Don't know the reason. Make sure to tell me in the comments where you're from. Paul Vaughan watching from Brisbane. David Doherty in County Kerry. Mary Stack in Alba Fair in Portugal. I was there last week myself. Niall Cummins, Wexford. Nathan Lawler, Wexford. A lot of Wexford in here. Cahill Smith in Perth. Josh Hogan and working kill there. Paul McGarry in New Jersey. Michael Sexton in Cork. Josh Moffat going back from the start line. You can see them all lined up here now, waiting patiently. This stage is delayed, so that means the rest of them will be. Don't forget, we'll be in Sunny McSwine's tonight with jackets. All you have to do is come up to us and show us that you've shared you've shared the live stream and we'll give you a jacket. First come, first serve. We'll be there tonight and tomorrow night. Um so oh yes. More in farms. Make sure to get your on the pace note jackets there. They're on sale in Clarny. They're a massive hit. On sale now again up here. These cars are leaving at 12.12. 12. One more minute. Till we get a bit of action. Let's see how Josh will do after the first day today. After the first day last year, he was in fourth, looking way behind and ended up being rally leader and winner. As I said before, this is a very dodgy stage. A lot of bumps and jumps and gravel. Anything could happen. You could have a big moment. And it's just under 15 kilometers. Here's Josh Muffin. <laughs> Next up at number two in the door is Callum Devine. Next up 
Miss Marion Evans. Just got word Michael Boyle has a pop-off issue before stage one. Don't know will he start the stage. Here is Marion Evans. <laughs> Next up is Sam Moffat. Sam is a uh, won this event a few years ago, and his brother won it last year. Here is Matt Edwards, the Mel Melvin Evans Polo. Next up is Robert Barbell and the Citroen. Citroen seems to get a lot more popular now. Next up is Gary Jennings. Another Citroen. Dizzy Henry. Next up is one of our sponsors, Michael Boyle. Make sure to go into McCafferty's Bear and Sunny McSwine's. They have live coverage of Facebook Live all day on all screens. And if you want to stay, have no place to stay in Donegal, Donegal campsite. <laughs> And my cafes are running a bus in and out from D Donegal campsite. We will be switching over to Killian now soon for the end of the stage. You don't need to change out of the stream, it'll be on the same stream. Here's Garrett McHale. <laughs> Next 
next up is Joe McGonagall. So I'm live here at the end of stage one. A big shout out to Joe there for carrying the broadcast uh, through there. It's great to have him on board. I'm just going to put up the chat here and the comments. Give me a shout out if you are enjoying the coverage. A uh, great viewership uh, this afternoon so far. Uh, hey, yeah, sounds perfect. Lovely. Thanks to Aaron Hughes as well on board. We have a big team with us in this weekend. We have Michael Black. Andy has joined us then uh, tomorrow. And uh, great to see that the uh, sound is perfect. Who do you think is going to win? Who do you think is going to win? It's going to be a savage race. Is it going to be multiple British rally champion? Matt Edwards uh, taking the way. A uh, great Daniel Landers. Thanks for that class job. Glad you're enjoying the coverage. Fair play to Joe. Not an easy task to have to talk for 12, 13 minutes there. Um, while the stage was delayed. He was told to start at 12, was delayed, no big deal. Uh, but I am here, all the double O's are gone past. I am expecting a car to be with me very, very shortly. A massive shout out to our sponsors. We have the sponsor of the rally, uh, Wilton Waste. Uh, there they are. Uh, the main sponsor of the Donegal International Rally, and that deal is for multiple years. Again, McCaffrey's Bars. You could be watching in McCaffrey's Bars. Make sure they, to, they'll be tuned in all weekend. Donegal Town, also Sonny Max Wines in Letterkenny. Andy, myself, and the crew will be in Sonny Max Wines later. Hope to see you there. We'll be in again Saturday. And if you share our posts and show us where you shared the post, we have a couple of jackets to give away. We'll have them in our possession. Massive shout out as well to local sponsor Glee Builders. They're doing a massive recruitment drive here. Um, they have a lot of new projects coming up. VMS hire their nationwide sign hire throughout the country. Uh, septic tank experts, if you uh, septic tank is in need of a service, maintenance to do sales, uh, check out septic tank experts.com. Also, CBM signs and King of the Cone. We have King of the Cone is happening in Tinney's yard in a controlled environment. It's better than uh, seeing people uh, diffing out main roads and, and all. So, uh, Aiden Carr has a great setup there this year. So, if you are heading to Letterkenny, and I see a lot of cars going up on trailers and, and driving up there to the King of the Cone because they have to be road legal. Power Tune as well. Uh, as well on board power tune performance we have bat jack and we also have luxury accommodation i'm going to flick around the camera because i am expecting ca um car number one uh josh moffat to be with me any moment and i don't want to get caught uh flicking cameras around here um and if you are out in the hedges whatsapp your action clips to 87 63 this stage is donegal bay lots of bumps and jumps i know from doing the uh the notes for the cruise that there is a lot of work in this stage a lot of gravel you'd see at the start line there with joe there was a lot of gravel there uh, so you will see if you are getting action clips what's after action clips 87 i am expecting uh, josh moffat to meet me any moment if you are on social media we have a TikTok. Killian.Duffy and Instagram, Killian.Duffy. Give me a follow for shorter analysis of the stage. And hit share if you're really enjoying our coverage. And again, Batshack are doing a competition there of a giveaway of some unbelievable rally uh, artwork. All you have to do is tag, tag Batshack in the comments there and also to give their page a share. Go into Batshack.com nationwide delivery of... Um, of old bathroom and tile wear. So as I said, I am waiting. I'm going to check out the numbers we have watching here now. Um, I am expecting a car to with me. I'm just going to take out my other phone here just to get an idea of what sort of viewership we have. We have 1,600 people join us. We have a time already. I'm just going to, I won't even call it out because I'm just waiting here. And I say, okay, so we're going to see. I'm going to hang on and not give the time. So if you want a bit of suspense, if you want a bit of suspense, you're going to have to hang on. Who's your guess? Who's going to be quickest on this one? Put it in of the top two cars. Who do you think it is? Who do you think it is? I'm watching here. Oh, you have them up there. Okay, we have the times commented. We have a policy here. We, we, we're not going to post the times here unless we look for them. But uh, thanks very much. Uh, but we have it here. So we have 736 for Josh Moffat. But guys, don't post the times unless we're looking for them because it does, uh, a lot of viewers say to us, you know what, we don't enjoy it as much when we know the times. I'm just down uh, from the exit of the stage here, only about a kilometre or so. Um, so let's see what is the uh, stores, uh, stories here. So as I said, Matt Edwards, some people are saying about the times. No hassle, Trevor. We usually do look for the times. But in this case, we're just going to leave the suspense here. I know it mightn't be as, as good for you, but those people that aren't watching the times will have a look here. But if we're looking for the times, I'll give you a shout. Thanks a million. Uh, I don't want to sound rude now. I, I appreciate people putting the times, but a lot of people, the feedback we've got is 
yeah, when before the car comes, that if we get the time, it's not the same suspense. Yeah, I don't know about that, Francie. I'd say for the win over. Here we go. Here we go. Here we have Josh Moffat, last year's winner. Let's see what he has done in here. Let's see. Well, Josh, uh, 7.36 for you. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was a grand run. and Probably not the best rhythm for starting off, but uh, it's fine. We're here. Okay. Nothing else to report, no? Yeah, not really, no. Okay, no, just rhythm wasn't that happy with the rhythm in the stage there. Josh with a 7.36, and then I have to go Callum's point of a second. We'll wait and see what Callum Devine. Now we're getting busy. This is what we're here for. And again, a massive shout out to our sponsors. And one of them is Curran Gate here on the side of Callum Devine's car. Callum was at a 7.39.6. I think so, Kelly and I. What did I said? I'm bummed than expected. Some of the bumps coming at high speed, but yeah, again, handbrakes not where they work, and it came junction. Just, just putting you off a bit. Just putting me off a bit. Yeah, but I've uh, lost too much time. Okay, okay. So, as uh, quick as so far, I'm not going to go too far up the road because the sweet spot of coverage, the sweet spot of coverage is very, very small. Let's see what Marion did. So, if you're just after tuning in, Josh Moffat, 736. Zero. Callum Devine, 739.6. How'd you get on in there, Murray? 15. What? 15.8, I think. What was going? What was? Just, I don't know. It felt pretty slow at the start, and then it felt like something bent with the back of the car about three quarters of the way through, so I was really, really careful then, because it was sliding a lot on some of the left-hand so You're probably just building the confidence, too. Yeah, yeah, a bit. We were upside down the last time we were yeah, so Okay, okay. Okay, yeah. not too bad. It's a long rally. It's a long rally, a 750. Marion Evans, let's see what Sam off at 30 second intervals. You gotta love it, it's busy, no time for thinking. But fastest so far is Josh Moffat with a 7.36.0. What can Sam do? Uh, 43.7. Pretty happy with a bit of a roller coaster in there. And, uh, Callum said there's a lot more bumps than expected. Oh, I can land it sideways over a few of them, so uh, very enjoyable, very warm. I think my, my tongue was stuck to the roof of my mouth in there for a while, but all good. Okay, they're looking to go here. Do we have a time for Matt Edwards here? Do we have a time, Matt? Matt, what was your time? Okay, okay, first of all, Oh, disappointing start for Matt Edwards. 801 for Matt Edwards. A busted rear diff with Matt Edwards. They were looking to get out there. We have to have the heads up here. Um, so that is a disappointing start for Matt Edwards. A busted diff there. Uh, that's very, very disappointing there for Matt Edwards. It's nearly over before it's begun. So let's see what Rob Barbell got. But fastest so far by 3.6 seconds is Josh Moffat. Rob, how did that go? Some big bumps and jumps. Yeah. I suppose it just didn't really go into a kill and we done a 53. No. 53, you're just not, not no, in it. No, I just didn't really click. I don't know the story is. We go again. We go again. Keep the head up. Keep the head up there. That is uh, Robert Barbell, Gordon Noble on the notes. Just didn't click, but the big action from this one is Matt Edwards has rear diff issues in his polo. So that is disappointing. He didn't stop, but he was a right bit slower than everyone. Matt Edwards with an 801. Fastest so far was Josh Moffat, 7.36.0. Next up, Callum Devine, 7.39.6. A further four seconds behind him was Sam Moffat with a 7.43. Point seven. Next up, Murray in fourth quickest with a 750.8. The last time he was out, he was upside down, so he's building his confidence. Uh, Robert Barbell then with a 753 uh, and then an 801 then for Matt Edwards. But the news coming from this one is Matt Edwards in rear diff issues there. I'm just going to put up the comments here for a minute to see. Can I see them? What do you reckon? Yes, what a start by Josh Moffat. Fastest by 3.6 seconds from the current gate car of Callum Devine. Now, there is a bit of a gap. Gary Jennings should be next. Gary was saying there is an M Sport engineer, and here he is on cue, Gary Jennings. I'm just going to back out. Let's see what Gary Jennings done in this stage. He was, this is the. This is what I tipped Gary Jennings for these stages. Let's see how Gary got on in there. Well, Gary, how was it? Yeah, I got to work in there. And, yeah, I felt good. Probably didn't get some of the junctions as smooth as you did it. Couldn't get slated enough, but that's the dry tarmac for you. What was the time? Uh, 7.42.9. Not bad. Quickest was a 36. 36.0 for, for um, Josh. A 39.6 for Callum. And you were next up. Third quickest. You're happy with that? Yeah, you're happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's glad to be here. Third fastest time. 
point there for Gary Jennings. Let's talk to Johnny Greer. Let's see how Johnny got on that one. Well, Johnny, how was it? How was yeah, it? A bit of a moment in the start of a couple of bumps. So tight, they knocked the tumbles a lot, but now we got through it. Happy now. What was the time? Uh, 54.4. Okay, 754.4. Knocked his confidence over the bumps. Let's see how bad Jack Carr of Desi Henry got on in there. Bat Shack, of course, are running that great competition. Tag them in the comments and give their Facebook page a share. Well, Desi, a lot of big bumps and jumps, everyone's saying. Hi, there is. Mambo, hi. Uh, probably a wee bit nervous over them there, but, uh, you know, probably enough of a clean enough stage for us. Just a bit yellow, probably, and blitzed over the, over the bigger stuff. Uh, but what was the time? 7.48.9. Not a bad time. It's not a bad time, just needs to commit more, says you. Yeah. Okay, needs to commit more. Desi Henry, and here is our man from Sunny Max Wines and McCaffrey's Gar Barris Group. If you're in there, cheers to you all. Let's see how Declan Boyle got on in there. Declan, everyone's saying that they weren't expected to be as bumpy as that. No, definitely wasn't bumpy. And uh, our suspension's just been too strong. It's springing going back up out of the ground and thinking the tail as well. So. It's a bit unnerving. Ah, uh, it's a wee bit nervous. I couldn't complain that. So. What was your time? 8.17.0. Okay, okay, keep it going. 817.0. Declan Boyle is going to be disappointed with that time. Two right hand drive cars here. Gareth McHale. Well, Gareth, how did that one go? Yeah, it went okay. Um, I think my car is a bit soft, actually, to be honest with you. It was just slow more so than being precise. But okay, we did an 810. Grand start. Okay, grand start. Car too soft as well. Too floaty. The car too soft there. For Gareth McHale, I'm not going to go up to Ryan Lochran because it's. Uh, I'm just afraid of losing coverage. I have a sweet spot of coverage here, and I'm not going off it. He can. He'll be down to me in one moment. But if you're just after tuning in, fastest here on stage one was Josh Moffat with a 7.36.0, 3.6 seconds quicker than the current gate car of Callum Devine. Who in turn next up was Gary Jennings, a further 3.3 further behind. And who Gary uh, back into fourth, then a further point eight behind was Sam Moffat. Let's see how Ryan Lochran got on in his Fiesta. Right hand drive. Well, Ryan, how did that go? Spun the first junction, had a reverse back twice and a stalled her twice. And been a mess of the stage. What was the time? 12, 12, 12. Okay. Ah, hey, it's David's up. I'm surprised you were looking for Joe behind me. Okay, okay, okay. Disappointing two spins there for Ryan Lochran. <laughs> Two spins for Ryan Lockridge, so he's disappointed with that. Often there's so much hype, it's hard to get into. Well, Joe, bumps and jumps. Yeah, a lot of them. Um, kind of didn't do anything silly. As I said to you before, we've had a couple of bad Fridays in a row, so uh, we've got to the time? through the farmyard and that. Set the. 817.7. Okay. Okay, keep her going. 817.7, a bit of a scare through the park. And here is one of our sponsors from Cleve Builders who are doing a big recruitment drive at the moment. Let's talk to David. Well, David, glad to get that one done. I uh, glad to get that over with. Tricky stage, uh, a lot of bumps and stuff in there. It's very hard to know how you're actually going, but uh, I know, we're glad to be through. What was the time? 7.58. 7.58. Yeah. Not a bad time, not a bad right, time. Okay, keep it going. That is the Glee Builders car of David Kelly, Dean O'Sullivan. Let's see how Jason Mitchell, local man Paddy McCrudden, is passing his home house on the third stage. Well, Jason, how did that go? Uh, not too bad. Can I just give a better self some depth there? So I'm happy enough. What was the time? Yeah, not a bad start at all. Not okay, bad, thanks. not bad. Keep it going. Jason Mitchell there, but if you're just after tuning in, just after tuning in, the big news coming from the stage so far, other than Josh Moffat was quickest by 3.6 seconds, is Matt Edwards is in mechanical issues there with a rear diff. Disappointed uh, for that. So, yes, uh, who's in the lead? In the lead is Josh Moffat. First on the road, last year's winner. And here is, good to see, is this... This is Aiden Ray here. So no Michael Boyle. Michael Boyle a pop-off issues before the stage. So hopefully he gets through them there. Well, Aiden, how did that go? That's not too bad at all. 817. Aiden Ray will be happy with that. 817. We are missing. We are missing the McCaffrey's uh, car of Michael Boyle. Kevin Gallagher, okay, so the first of the modifieds is coming in the Darien. He said these stages aren't going to suit him or wouldn't suit him as much, but who knows? This Darien can move and they're a well sorted machine. Well, how did that go? Ah, it was sort of scrappy enough, I suppose. Um, we uh, 
it's kind of one of them stages you just you're feeling, get rid of. you're feeling your way more than uh, we, we landed heavy on a jump and a, a bloody screwdriver jumped out of the pocket yeah. and landed on the floor so to pick that up so uh, we lost the rhythm a wee bit in the middle but we're an 8 eight eleven. okay 8 11 points okay not the best of stages but you got through it not I a bad time happy yeah. he's happy not a bad time there for kevin Gallagher. and 8 11 a screwdriver came down to this foot so here is kevin eves kevin is He's got a clean run through the first one anyway, so it's nice to just get, get, get into it. It's a tricky stage, isn't there? Harry? Kevin reckons it's just a matter of sort of getting through it. Aye, hey, for him, definitely. His car's so wide and yeah. a bit of gravel and grass at the end, so hey, it's just bumpy and tricky. Now, we don't have to be three point eight. Sometime. You're at eight, uh, uh, eight seconds almost, 7.9 quickly, Aye, Kevin. Aye, but I know he won't struggle in there now, so it's to see what the bikes behind do, you know, it just is, it was gravelly and narrow and a lot of continued corners and stuff, so, hey, we'll see. Okay, Kevin, Kevin Eves there, Kevin Eves lost his modified so far, Kevin Galler, a screwdriver came out, up, out, out of his feet and uh, he had to go rooting for it there, so that just put him off a small bit, but, uh, yes, Yes, a safe rally, exactly. So if you're just after tuning in, Josh Moffat, fast, 7.36-0. Callum Devine is 7.39.6. And a further three seconds back then to third place, Gary Jennings, who is only 0.8 quicker than fourth place, Sam Moffat. Uh, other news is Matt Edwards has mechanical diff issues. He had an 8.01, so he is 25 down on Josh on that one. So let's see if he can get it sorted on the road sections. Michael Boyle, pop-off valve issues. Hopefully he gets running a bit later back on the road. Kevin Gallagher... 8, 11.7, but the modified man second on the road with an 8.03.8, 7.9 quicker than Kevin Gallagher is Kevin Eve. So let's see, it should be Gary Kernan next. Gary talking about, uh, you know, the uh, how competitive the modified is. You have to go and get at what Kevin Eve's. Kevin Eve's had an 8.03.8. Kevin Gallagher had an 8.11.7. I'm really enjoying the coverage. I hope you're enjoying it. If you could hit share, it'd be fantastic. All our sponsors, we really rely on them uh, for our service. We have a big team here, here this weekend. We dug deep with everyone. We're going to get try to mix as much action into it as possible. So here we have Gary Kearney. He was probably just in tyre pressures. Gary generally does that straight after the stage. So let's see. Let's see how Gary got on. Well, Gary, you gravelly, bumpy. Fucking shite. Right. Uh, I sort of half hit the ball with the back of it there too towards the back end. We're 19, we're way off. Like 8, 19? Yeah, way off. Just putting it into a rhythm. I don't know what they could not commit. Kevin Gallagher said the same. Hard work with Kevin Eves. Yeah, yes. So that is it. Couldn't get a rhythm, but that's generally the consensus on this one is the rhythm. But fastest modified so far is Kevin Eves with an 803.8. Eight eleven for Kevin Gallagher, but a screwdriver came up to his feet and sort of wrecked his, his uh, run a little bit. Well, how did that go, Declan? Hi, Grand. I had a bit of an ear run at the start at high speed. You know, I'm kind of probably put me off a wee bit, but good enough for general, good enough run through it. What we do? Uh, eight, ten, eleven, eight, ten. 8.10. Yeah. Yeah, your second quickest there. Uh, Eve's seven. Huh? Uh, Kevin Eves. Kevin Eves. Kevin Eves. And 8.11 yeah. for Kevin Gallagher. Uh, 8.11 for Kevin Gallagher. Yeah, and 8.19 for Gary Kern. Yeah, He's happy with that. A bit of a scare. A bit of a scare there for Declan Gallagher on that one. Let's see how Damien Torres. Well, Damien, the cobwebs gone. <laughs> They're cobwebs there, all right, now, but the caught Michael Boyle there and lost me, but the lane on. No one's too bad now. What's your time? Uh, 19.1. Not not bad considering the lack of seat time. I, I am happy enough to get through it there. It's, it's definitely lost the heat, but it's a good stage to get under, you know, but no, I enjoyed it. Good. Perfect, keep it going. Damien Torres and Dolan McElhaney there. He had uh, caught Michael Boyle. Michael Boyle has mechanical issues. Disappointing start for the Gracie's Barman uh, for this event and um, for Michael Boyle. Very, very disappointing. Uh, there to drop so much time so early on but hopefully he gets sorted again another man dropping 25 seconds was matt edwards in this one mechanical issues so let's see does he get sorted on the way to the second one david bogey should be next on this one david could be a dark horse here everyone's saying how slippy and tricky and hard this stage this Donegal 14.8 kilometer stage is to get into but again who's going to mccafferty's tonight i will see you there we are heading in uh, and we have a couple of jackets. So let's see if Michael stops. He may not stop. He may not stop. In the Sonny Max Wines car. That is disappointing. Michael needs to get sorted. Hopefully he can sort it on the road section there. I'm going to read up the comments. Who's going to McCafferty's or who's in there already? 
picture, good ear now. All oh, good, good. Now, the coverage is dodgy here. If you've seen, literally, a phone call can be a bit of a struggle. Oh, David Bogey damaged the back of David Bogey's car. There's a bit of there's a bit of cosmetic damage to the back. A bit of damage to the back, David. I just bumped the chicane there. It's okay. What was your time? Oh, good, good effort. 8-10. 8-10. 8-10 for bogey. 8-10 for bogey. Let's see how this uh, Monaghan man domiciled in Donegal. No, you're shaking your head. Uh, I've lost power steering. Seven kilometers in. So oh, jeez. That arm's got to work out. What do you lose? What time is he? 8-22. Not over yet. He's trying to get the power steering gone there. That's just a point and start. So let's see what Richard Moffat. Well, Richard, tell us how you got on. Baptism of fire. Everyone's saying the same, very hard to get a rhythm. Yeah, didn't feel it was great at all now, just not smooth and I'm not sure about What was your time? 8.07. Oh, second fastest. 8.07 point what? 7. 8.07, you were only 3.9 off fastest. Under four seconds off fast time, second fast modified through. Who was fastest? Kevin Eves, okay. you're next. That's okay, guys. Good effort, he's happy with that, Dara is here adjusting the tire pressures here this man no rest for this man but what a run there for richard moffat richard moffat second quickest modified through stage number one here at donegal bay i'm just going to wait for a couple more cars and because i have to run off and get at uh, the next stage and the guys will be live at the end of the next one here i'm just going to see what the whatsapps two thousand people watching so winning the rally after the first stage or leading the rally is josh moff by three seconds for callum divine and similar setup in the modified kevin eves three seconds quicker than richard moffat everyone's struggling for rhythm in there and it's tricky and getting frights yeah we had the same we had a massive moment at the start yeah, the Dick Miller said the same. yeah and we went over a jump and the back one like was like a kangaroo went over what time is it uh, 8 19. it's not a bad time Still not a bad time. Yeah. Who's, who's there now? Uh, Kevin Eves was fast with 803, Richard Moffat 807, and then 810s then for Declan Gallagher. Okay, okay. Not bad at all, not bad at all. So let's see how Frank Kelly got on in here. Well, Frank, how did that go? Uh, as usual, I should have started the rally yesterday. Uh, 829, he's very nervy in there, very jumpy and bumpy. Not committed enough, but listen, happy enough. Okay, happy enough. I'll let you go. Happy enough. It's good of morning. Let's see. I'm just going to wait for one more car. Well, Chris, how did that go? I broke. I was absolutely shocked myself. I did it in 38. Probably minutes lower than the boys, I said. No, 30 seconds. Yeah. 30, 30 Easy, odd. No okay, no, you can see. The CBM signs a car of James Ford. James has been building his pace. Well, James, how did that one go? Uh, steady away in there, Rosalie. Okay, what was the time like? 18.9. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Yeah. Keep it going. Keep it going. I'm going to wave them on now. And that is it from the end of stage number one. Uh, that was it. Epic start to the event. Big drama for Matt Edwards. Mechanical issues uh, for Matt. Drop 30 second. Fastest Josh Moffat from Callum Devine. The gap between them three. Then a further three back to Gary Jennings, who's just marginally ahead of Sam Moffat in fourth place top modified is kevin eves 803.8 for him and then next up it for with an 807.7 is richard moffat second quickest and then third quickest modified through the stage is declan gallagher a lot of people reporting frights join um michael shortly at the end of stage two and the start of three
Donegal Town, a leading Irish construction company, have a number of exciting opportunities in the northwest. Now hiring for a variety of roles, including site engineers, quantity surveyors, and site managers, with excellent packages and opportunities to progress available. For more information, see GleeBuilders.com or send CVs to jobs at GleeBuilders.com. If you'd like to advertise on our Facebook live stream, get in contact.